Welcome to a new video and in this video I want to show you the first Huawei keyboard that is available globally called Celia keyboard. You can You can find it in the app gallery, you can install it and I can open it up here. And here we have several different settings for the Celia keyboard. You know, Celia is the assistant of um, Huawei Emotion UI and also Harmon US. And with uh, this keyboard, you have, of course, also all your support from Celia. First of all, let's check languages. We have various different languages here, as you can see here. A list of available languages. What, what I find interesting is that uh, you don't find any Chinese in here so this keyboard is not meant for the Chinese market yet I would say. At least I didn't see any Chinese. Maybe there is mm, there's some Arabic languages I think. Anyway this is what you have. Oh there is Chinese as you can see here in various different options and Japanese and Korean as well. Uh, anyway, it's only available globally currently, not in China. So we have various different themes here. Four in this case. I hope Huawei will improve this. This is a default one, which looks pretty much like SwiftKey or the Huawei default keyboard. And uh, we have, of course, font options here. So set the various different fonts that we want on our keyboard. And we have some keyboard options specific, like a pop-up on keypress. What I like to have is show number row. So I have this activated. And we can also set up something else here. We have input. What I don't like is auto capitalization or next word suggestions or auto correction, which is um, always not working for me, especially if I'm typing in English and German. But all the other options are available here. And we have sound and vibration where we can set up the sound and vibration on key presses and can even set the sound when we press a key and the about window just to show you which version of Celia keyboard it is, is the early version one of the first versions let's go into input and click on this little icon here which will bring up the Celia keyboard and as you can see here i already adjusted it a little bit so what i can do here is of course type i get also like suggestions of course i also have the option to hide the keyboard but also go into settings and here are some more settings just like for example under mode I have the option to resize the keyboard in all four lengths as you can see here which is pretty nice so we want to make it a little bit bigger this is i think the the default option then it looks like this um i personally don't like it but you have the option to do this so here's the resize mode i think this one looks a little better and you also have layout modes so i'm in german right now if i want to have the extra extended keyboards keyboard i can go in here and you can see now uh, the special keys and characters are appearing here as well and i can change this to uh, even dvorak if i want to and under here i can also directly go to the themes but i also have the option to uh, see the clipboard so if i have pasted text in here i can see it and copy it over and of course i also have text editing features where i can have a fine and granular selection Honestly, I like it more to be on the space key by default, pressing the space key, holding it and then swiping left or right for the um, cursor to move. But in uh, Celia keyboard, the space key is meant for input. So it's German input here. Let me switch to English, for example. Press and hold. Uh, allow all news. And you yeah, have to allow and agree. Let's go back in here and this is a little test I hope you are all well and as you can see here this is working fine so the audio detection of CDI is working fine as well and what we have next is sound and vibration I showed you already but there's another option besides the global settings which is called mechanical keyboard and if you click on this you um, yeah just make appear a new menu which says mechanical keyboard and if I tap on this activate i have three different options just like on a mechanical keyboard like clicky tactile or linear and depending on how you type you get the clicky feeling now with the vibration motor the tactile one the linear one which is pretty pretty nice there's only one layout available here right now as you can see it's a qwerty layout for the english one but i can also 
change to the German one as you can see here so it has also those options but the um, layout or the theme of the, the mechanical keyboard is this here and I really have to say as much as I don't like the way the keyboard has the spacebar only for audio input I like this mechanical keyboard so much it is so good to type in here uh, and uh, yeah it's really um, uh, really really nice typing experience here one of the best keyboards and this mechanical feature is really really cool uh, otherwise I think mm, Swift keyboard which is used by default on Emotion UI has still more features has still more themes and uh, yeah you have the option for the space button for, for moving the cursor you have the option to quick ex quickly access uh, some um, extras like if I press here on J long you can see there's no extras coming no extra characters coming and uh, the same goes for all the other keys so this is one limitation still I hope Huawei will uh, think about uh, lifting this limitation and adding such features as well as configuring the the speak menu to be like uh, on a different key maybe and have this as a cursor moving option this is everything for this video if you like this video you can share you can like and you can subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.